Happy Math Club Day, and thank you for joining us for Math Bingo. Let's kick things off with a message from Northrop Grumman, lead sponsor of the National Math Club and a national sponsor of Math Counts. Hello, Math Clubbers, and happy Math Club Day. I am Stephanie Fitzsimmons from Northrop Grumman, and I lead STEM outreach programs like Math Counts. At Northrop Grumman, we develop some of the most innovative products and solutions in the world. These range from undersea to outer space to cyberspace and beyond. And to accomplish this, our employees use math to solve problems every day to make the impossible possible. While I wish you could be together in person today to play math bingo, I am glad you can participate virtually. I encourage you to continue to participate in Math Counts programs to push the limits of your knowledge, which will ultimately lead to many great achievements and exciting professional opportunities. From all of the employees at North of Grumman and the North of Grumman Foundation, I hope you enjoy bingo and wish you much success. Thank you, Stephanie, and thank you so much to Northrop Grumman Foundation, whose support allows us to provide the National Math Club completely for free to schools and groups across the country. Now let's get started with Math Bingo. In a typical game of bingo, a moderator will call out numbers, and each individual player will cross off those numbers if they have them on their card as the game progresses. Math Bingo is a lot like regular bingo, but with one important twist. Instead of calling out numbers, we'll be giving you fun math problems to solve. The answer to each of these math problems is an integer between one and 60. So for math bingo, you'll solve each math problem, and then if you have its answer on your bingo card, you'll cross off that corresponding integer. If you don't have a number, just skip it and get ready for the next math problem. Just like in a regular bingo game, you'll cross off five boxes in a row to win. These can be five in a row horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Before we start our game, make sure you have your card ready to go. You can use one of the pre-done bingo cards that are available at mathcounts.org slash mathclubday. We have 10 different card options and each of them is pre-populated with a mix of integers between one and 60. For those of you who registered earlier for official bingo, we have already emailed your pre-done card to you, so please be sure to use that card for this game. If you'd rather make your own bingo card, you're welcome to use our blank template that's available at mathcounts.org slash mathclubday. There are 25 squares on the card, but the center is a free space, so you'll fill in the remaining 24 squares with any integers between 1 and 60. Mix up the order of the numbers and don't use any integer more than once. Go ahead and pause this video if you need to to get your card ready and also to grab a pen or a pencil. We'll read each bingo question and then afterwards we'll say a three, two, one countdown to let you know we're about to progress to the next question. We'll keep each question slide up just long enough for us to read the question but you should feel free to pause this video and take all the time you need to answer each problem. Many of these problems will take most of us longer to solve. All right, mathletes, now let's play. Get ready for the first bingo question. Question one, how many positive integers are less than 10 pi? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Get ready for the next question. Question two, the product of two consecutive positive integers is 306. What is their sum? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Get ready for the next bingo question. Question three, the integer m is between 30 and 80 and is a prime number. When m is divided by eight, the remainder is one. Similarly, when m is divided by five, the remainder is one. What is the value of m? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for the next question. What is 150% of 26? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for your next bingo question. Question five. 
Perry wants to order deli sandwiches for a party of 30 people. If a jumbo sandwich costs $15.75 and feeds 10 people, what is the total cost for the sandwiches rounded to the nearest dollar? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Get ready for the next question. Question six. Solve the following equation for x. Two thirds equals four over quantity x minus five. The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Get ready for the next bingo question. Question seven. The number 24 can be made by multiplying together four prime numbers, two, 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 and three. How many primes must be multiplied to make 2,400? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for the next question. Question eight. Boy Scout Troop 324 is planning to go hiking for one day. There are 12 boys in the troop and they will be accompanied by three scout leaders. Each person will need at least three bottles of water that day. What is the minimum number of bottles of water needed for the trip? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for your next bingo question. Question nine. The first term of a sequence is five and each subsequent term is five less than twice the preceding term. What is the eighth term? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Get ready for the next question. Question 10. The mean of five whole numbers is 12, and the unique mode is 13. If all five numbers are greater than nine, but less than 14, what is the median of the five numbers? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Get ready for the next bingo question. Question 11. What is the positive difference between 25 squared and 24 squared? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for the next question. Question 12. What is the units digit of the least whole number greater than 1,000 whose digits are all different? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for your next bingo question. Question 13. Anna divides her collection of marbles into two equal piles. Her little sister then takes three marbles from one of the piles, leaving 27 marbles in that pile. How many marbles were in Anna's original collection of marbles? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Get ready for the next question. Question 14. When Joanna and Clara ate at their favorite restaurant, the subtotal was $26.40. A 7% tax and an 18% tip were added to the bill. Both applied to the subtotal. What was the total cost, including tax and tip? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Get ready for the next bingo question. Question 15. One recipe for Tex-Mex four-layer dip calls for one layer each of refried beans, sour cream, guacamole, and tomatoes. If the refried beans must be the bottom layer, in how many different orders can the dip be constructed? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for the next question. Question 16. On a digital clock showing hours and minutes, how many different readings between noon and midnight contain at least two threes? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for your next bingo question. Question 17. If P is prime and N is even, such that P plus N equals 47, and P times N equals 210, what is the value of N? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Get ready for the next question. Question 18. In how many different ways can 30 cents be made from any combination of quarters, dimes, nickels, or pennies? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Get ready for the next bingo question. Question 19. 
the battling hummingbirds have won 40% of their first 60 games. If they win their next 12 games in a row, what percent of all their games will they have won? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for the next question. Question 20. The arithmetic mean of four numbers is 11.5. When the largest of the numbers is removed, the mean of the remaining three numbers is nine. What number was removed? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for your next bingo question. Question 21. Katrina can bicycle 38 miles in four hours. At the same speed, how many miles does she bicycle in six hours? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Get ready for the next question. Question 22. What is the median of the composite integers that are greater than 20 and less than 35? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Get ready for the next bingo question. Question 23. If three flicks are equivalent to eight flex and six flocks are equivalent to four flex, how many flocks are equivalent to 12 flicks? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for the next question. Question 24. A clothing dealer sold two shirts at $12 each. On one, he made a profit of 20%. On the other, he lost 20%. How many dollars did he lose on the two sales combined? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for your next bingo question. Question 25. Ralph bought five dozen pencils for himself, but gave seven pencils to Stacy. How many pencils did Ralph have left? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Get ready for the next question. Question 26. A whole number N is chosen so that N divided by three is strictly between 7.5 and eight. What is the value of N? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Get ready for the next bingo question. Question 27. A pace in the United States is exactly 30 inches. Raymond was told to walk six paces and turn. What is the number of feet Raymond was told to walk before he turned? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Get ready for the next bingo question. Question 28. Kyle missed 21 of the first 50 free throws he attempted. What percent of those first 50 free throws did he make? The next question's coming up in three, two, one. Mathletes, get ready for the next question. Question 29. A palindrome is a number that reads the same forward and backward. The year 1991 was the last palindromic year of the 20th century. How many years between 2000 and 3000 are palindromes? We'll move on to the next question in three, two, one. Okay, mathletes, this is it. Our last bingo question for Math Club Day. If you've got four in a row and have one last chance for bingo, good luck. Here's our final question. Question 30. A hot air balloon is 10 feet off the ground now and is rising at a constant rate of two feet per second. What is the height of the balloon in feet after 18 more seconds? Thanks for playing Math Bingo with us. We hope you had a fun time. Spoiler alert, we'll be posting answers to these bingo problems tonight at mathcounts.org slash mathclubday so you can see how you did. For those official bingo players, we'll be getting in touch with prize drawing winners later this week. Math Bingo is one of the many free, fun activities in the National Math Club, available to middle school educators and volunteers who work with students in grades six through eight. Learn more about this awesome free program at mathcounts.org slash club. Happy Math Club Day, everyone.